Eight years ago, ratio of ages of A and B was 5 is to 4. The ratio of their present age is 6 is to 5. What will be the sum of ages of A and B after 7 years from now? Here, 8 years ago ratio is 5 is to 4 and present age ratio 6 is to 5. 5 increased to 6 and 4 increased to 5. That is, difference is same, that is one part. 5 is to 4 and 6 is to 5 difference is 1 part. So, this 1 part is same as the number of years difference. Here, present age to 8 years ago difference is equal to 8 years. That is 1 part 8 years. Which means, we need to find sum of ages of A and B after 7 years. Before that, we can find sum of present ages of A and B. Here, present age ratio is 6 is to 5. So, total sum is equal to 6 plus 5, 11 part and we already know 1 part is 8 years. So, 11 part is equal to 11 into 8, 88 years. Then, we need sum of ages of A and B after 7 years. So, after 7 years means total A increase to 7 and B increase to 7. Total increment 14 years. So, sum after 7 years. Sum of ages of A and B after 7 years is equal to 88 plus 14, 102 years. So, option C is your answer. Here, 5 is to 4 is the 8 years ago ratio. And present ratio is 6 is to 5. Now, you can see 4 increase to 5 and 5 increase to 6. So, total difference is same that is 1 part. And 1 part is 8 years means 6 plus 5 is 11 part. So, 11 into 8 is 88 years. Now, next question is ratio of present ages of A and B is 7 is to 8. After 6 years from now, ratio of their ages will be 8 is to 9. If C's present age is 10 years more than the present age of A, then present age of C is. Here, present age ratio is 7 is to 8 and after 6 years ratio is 8 is to 9. You can see 7 increase to 8 and 8 increase to 9. That is one part increment. Part difference is same. That is 7 to 8 and 8 to 9. So, one part is equal to difference in years. Here, difference in years means present year to 6 years after. Which means difference is equal to 6 years. So, one part is 6 years means we need present age of C. And present age of C means C is, C's present age is 10 years more than the present age of A. So, C is 10 years more than present age of A. Now, we have to find what is present age of A. Here, present age of A is equal to 7 part. Present age of A is equal to 7 part because present age of a and B is 7 is to 8 means present age of A is 7 part. Then present age of A is 7 part means 7 into 6, 42 years. So, C's present age is equal to 10 plus 42, 52 years. So, option C is your answer. That is here 7 is to 8 is the Present age ratio of A and B and after 6 years ratio is 8 is to 9. You can see 8 changed to 9, 7 changed to 8. So, total 1 part increment. 8 to 9 and 7 to 8. Part difference is same. That is 1 part. And this 1 part is given in this question 6 years. That is present age ratio and after 6 years ratio. Difference is equal to 6 years. Which means 1 part is equal to 6 years. 